So in this video, we are continuing with our look at the balance of payments. In particular, we're looking to answer the question, how does the balance of payments balance? Okay, so we are looking overall at the current account and the capital and financial account. This image from your textbook, see the source cited down the bottom, is very useful in trying to understand it. So the balance of payments, as we know, consists of two accounts, the current account and the capital and financial account. To get the balance on the current account, so we're looking at the top part of that box there, we know that we need net goods and net services. That will give us BOGS. And then we add to that NPY and net secondary income. That will give us the balance on the current account. Now, in terms of the capital and financial account, well, we need the capital account balance, but then we also need all the items from the financial account. So we need to add up direct investment, FDI, portfolio investment, other investment, reserve assets, financial derivatives, and then we'll get the balance on the CAFA. Now, to come to that last bit, the balance of payments. Well, it will be the current account plus the capital and financial account plus net errors and emissions, which will equal zero. What does that mean? Well, let's have a look. We've got the balance on the current account plus the balance on the capital and financial account. Now, because this measures inflows and outflows, that they should sum to zero. That inflows on one account will be matched by outflows on the other, and that should equal zero. But in reality, that's not always the case. We need net errors and emissions. This is a balancing item. It helps to offset any discrepancies between the balance on the current account and the balance on the capital and financial account. It just ensures that inflows on one account are equal to outflows on the other, and that overall, the balance of payments will balance to zero. So make sure that you know that in order to calculate the balance on the balance of payments, well, we need the balance on the current account, the balance on the capital and financial account, plus any net errors and omissions, and that will equal zero. So, from here, we're going to take a look at classifying some transactions on the balance of payments.